today I'll be doing an unboxing of the second gear haul that Hewish Outdoors has graciously sent me. So this haul contains some of the latest and greatest dive gear and accessories from Hollis, Air Sports, Stalsack, Atomic Aquatics, Seagull, and Oceanic. So let's check out what we've got. This first piece here is from Hollis Dive Gear. And it is the Katana 2. We also have a open circuit regulator set for a back mount type setup. So here we've got an oceanic first stage here and second. We've got the delta regulator here. This is their most popular regulator. They also just came out with special edition. They have it in all sorts of different colors, but I love the white. We also have an atomic aquatics octopus here or secondary regulator. This is the titanium two. We've got a Z-Goal um, gauge over here so you can check how much air is constantly in our tanks. This is in PSI. I prefer all of my gauges to be in PSI. And then of course we've got an LPI hose here, a low pressure inflator to go into a back mount style of BCD. This is one of their Bears 50 year anniversary retro accessories. They've got this in a ball cap, which I already have and I love it. But for winter or for some cold water diving, this tube will be perfect. We also have some other cold water diving gear here. This is the Bear Sports mid-layer top, which is made of um, compression resistant fleece. It's going to be super warm polar tech. So this is going to be perfect under a dry suit for cold water diving. They also sent me the matching pants set up too with a nice like elastic waistband, which is going to be really comfortable. And they also feature the stirrups so that they don't ride up during the dive. They've also got a little pocket here, which is convenient if they need to put like keys or anything small in there for underneath of the dry suit. Also made of the compression resistant fleece polar tech. I've got a nine millimeter bare sports hood for my dry suit for more cold water diving here in the Great Lakes, as well as um, a pair of seven millimeter mitts from Bear Sports. These are wetsuit mitts. And they've got elastic straps here to kind of reduce the water flow. Nice grip on the hands as well. Nice and comfortable. So these are the Bear Sports 7mm three finger mitts. I find them a little bit easier to have that index finger out of the rest of the portion of the mitt so that you can still like fiddle with smaller components of the gear as opposed to the full hand mitt. We've also got Force One boots from Bear, so this is for use with all of their dry suits uh, with the soft boots installed. So these have like a nice hard sole in case you're having to hike into the dive site at all or maneuver around like a parking lot with gravel or anything else like that before you actually get into your dive site. So these are going to be perfect for some cold water diving here in Canada. We have Force One boots. I've also got an oceanic mask. This is uh, one of another one of their 50 year anniversary oceanic products. So it's got some cool details here and it also has some like vintage dive photos here on the top of the case, which is awesome. Um, this is one of their like most famous masks in shadow. And I've had tons of clients over the years have this shadow mask. I've actually never had it before, so I'm excited to try it out. It's got like a bluish tint as well. 
on the lens there and then a kind of a fun 50th anniversary edition mask strap as well. I love these like neoprene mask straps. It just prevents your hair from getting tangled as you're placing your mask on and off. Um, it's also easier to place it over a hood as well. It just has a little bit more um, comfort there at the back of the mask. So that's the Oceanic Shadow in their 50th year anniversary edition. They've also sent me a Hollis M1 mask. This is another mask that I've seen a lot, but I've never owned my own yet. Um, this is the M1. I know tons of drivers actually who have had Hollis masks for like years and years and years and years. And they always rave about it, especially lots of like tech divers and cave divers. So this is gonna be another one that I'm excited to try. backpack. This is the 26 liter version here. I love salt sack bags. I also have a, um, a larger carry-on and then a larger like, dive bag for dive travel and they're awesome bags. They're just like super high quality. The zippers are really great um, and the material is really good and durable. So I really wanted this backpack and I love it already. This is going to be perfect for keeping things dry, whether it's on the boat or moving from site to site. And then it's completely waterproof backpack. It's also got like some extra padding inside in case I need to bring like a laptop or anything else or camera gear that needs a little bit more padding and protection. And then the straps are also nice and padded in case you need to wear it for a longer time. So that's the stall sack bag. There's also another soft pack bag here. This is the mesh backpack. This is the Bonaire mesh backpack. Um, this one's, I think, the largest version of them all. And it's nice and bright and yellow. It's good visibility. It's got completely waterproof mesh so that you can basically throw all of your dive gear into this, like all of your fins and your mask and your boots and anything else that you might need during a dive. This is like perfect for tropical diving destinations or subtropical diving destinations or really any boat dive where you can put all of your gear together in this bag, bring it on the boat with you. When you're done your dive, throw everything back in the bag and then you can just throw the entire bag filled with your gear into a rinse bin and it just makes everything so much easier uh, to keep all of your items contained, especially if you're on a boat where there's multiple divers and there's lots of different pieces of gear running around. It's definitely better to have all of your dive gear in one spot. And this mesh bag is perfect for that. So that's why I was excited to have that. Um, I also have here a pair of dry gloves. So in addition to the seven millimeter mitts that I got, I also got a pair of dry gloves for super cold water. Um, these ones here are the quick gloves and they should keep my hands completely dry if everything goes according to plan. These ones, they basically like clamp into your dry suit and keep them completely dry. Here I've got another item from Bear Sports. These are the matching Polar Tech socks. So these basically go on your feet and into your dry suit boots. Also made with the Polar Tech, the um, compression resistant fleece here and they feel like they're gonna be nice and warm. Also got a pair of Hollis regulators here. So these are the 150LX. This is perfect for my stage tanks or my bailout tanks when I'm doing um, either side mount or rebreather dive, so nice tech gear. I've also got this six inch hose and a SPG on the top here, also made by Hollis, also in PSI, as I prefer it. So that's gonna be set up on um, my stage tank or side mount tank, bailout tank, depending on what kind of diving I'm doing that day. And then this is also another setup. This one's got the same regulator, so the 150LX. Also the same um, SPG here. From Hollis but it's got an additional hose and that is to 
uh, hook into my dry suit, so that's also got a dry suit and bigger hose on it. So that's for that. That one I'll use primarily for my bailout tank when I'm driving on my rig reader the next couple of weeks. And last but certainly not least, they have sent me a Geo Air dive computer from Oceanic. So this is the latest model of the Geo Air. And it's also equipped with an air uh, transmitter so that I don't always need to check my SPG. It's always going to be uh, right in front of my eyes here on the dive computer. I'm actually really excited to have a, a transmitter I've never used one before either. And so this is going to be a first for me. So that's the Geo Air dive computer. And that is the last piece of our gear haul. So I hope you enjoyed checking out all this dive gear. I know I'm super amped to get into the water with it. And thanks for, for checking out this video. If you like this video, feel free to leave a comment and please share and subscribe to my super training channel. Thanks.